We're here at Carlo Toolmaking Services in Ireland and Pat and John here are about to tell us why they're so busy and why they're going to choose Mitsubishi every time. John, thank you so much for having us here at your company. He's given us a little bit of a tour already, but John, what is it that you're specialising in? Yeah, we make special purpose jigs and fixtures here, mostly for the medical device industry. Um, we are a contract tool room, so we, we do a little bit of everything. So uh, right from, I have parts here from an old steam engine where we're doing it currently, right through to uh, high-end medical device equipment. Uh, I've seen some of those high-end medical devices and they have blown my mind. Now let's start off with 22 years ago you bought a machine didn't you? Yeah we, we bought an old FX10 uh, 22 years ago and it, it's still running uh, every day we're, we're using that machine here still. And you were trained on that machi machine it's a yeah. Mitsubishi and now you've invested in more machines so why do you keep going back to Mitsubishi machines? Well, obviously, the longevity is proven in our first machine, and uh, the fact that we use the same software, uh, the training curve was a lot easier just sticking with the Mitsubishi machine than changing to another machine. What has helped us ch uh, change in Carla Toolmaking over the last number of years is the efficiency on the machines. We're dealing with ETG and with Mitsubishi, and this has allowed us to work more efficient and get jobs done quicker and easier and which is a major benefit to Carla Toolmaking. An awful lot of the parts we're making now at the moment when we're asked to make quantities we're actually using the Mitsubishi wearer order rather than the milling machines. We have uh, over the years again we have discovered we can stack parts we can wear them it's more efficient they can run uh, over at night unmanned and this has given us a uh, a little bit of a competitive edge over our competitors and again our customers are benefiting from that. From 22 years ago there's got to be a lot of changes in these machines that have happened. Well what they do hasn't really changed very much. Uh, the interface obviously has changed They're a lot more slick. Uh, the speed of treading in that has improved. Uh, the stainless steel tank on the newer machines is much easier clean. But, but other than that, they, they do the same job as they always did. So really, we've established that these are reliable machines that you're happy with, but are you pushing them to their limits? Yeah, we, we t tend to run them overnight a lot when we have the, the proper type of work to do. Uh, we cut a, a wide range of materials here. Anything that's conductive can be wire eroded. So we can cut from graphite right through to polycrystal and diamond. Uh, this machine here at the moment is cutting uh, a bronze component, which conventionally might have been milled, but it's much better for wire rods, and it wire rods really well. And you're making parts slightly differently, aren't you? Yeah, we, we tend to um, think around wire roding rather than um, milling, and because we design in-house, we design to suit our capabilities, so we design around uh, John and Connor in our design department over the last number of years they have when they're doing an initial design they have the Mitsubishi wire rotor in in mind from the very very beginning this allows us uh, the benefit of uh, working maybe overnight with machinery unmanned and again our customer which we deal with direct the engineer direct on a one-to-one -one basis is getting the main benefit because from the very very outset we there there is no modifications we're able we're, we're able to give them a concept from the beginning and then they end up with a, a ready to go product finished completed product talk me through the models then what are the differences okay from our oldest machine we have an fx10 um, capacity wise we had 350 uh, 250 in the X and Y and 220 in the Z and then we purchased an, an MV1200 which had basically the same capacity size wise 
just was a much nicer interface, much slicker. And then we moved on. We needed extra Z, so we uh, purchased uh, a 2400, an MV2400, which has 600 X, 400 Y, and it has 305 in the Z. Wow. So I that opened up a lot of doors for us because there was stuff that we could cut in the Z that we couldn't before. And what type of doors has that opened then for you? Well, customers uh, were asking for us to machine higher parts mm -hmm. and we had to turn away work because we hadn't the capacity. So the extra height in the Z has opened up a lot of doors for us. You're happy with the machine, but talk me through the process of making this part because this isn't an easy part to make, is it? <laughs> Correct, it's not that easy to make. Um, the part, basically once we have the CAD modeling done, uh, we create a, a 2D profile for this particular part and that uh, can be transferred directly to the machine then uh, to wire cut the part. And what so is this part? This part is um, it's used for um, producing toothbrushes. It's for gripping the, the bristle of your toothbrush and um, inserting it into the toothbrush. So um, the tolerances are very tight on this part because the, the fiber in your toothbrush is quite fine and uh, it would get caught if there was any gaps. And um, it's really easy to reproduce that part again. So if uh, we need to replace one of the parts, it's very easy just to replace it because we're guaranteed it's going to be like for like and it will fit together. What's changed for us here over, over the years in Carlo is the, a lot of the way we do work, we've started working an awful lot now with medical device companies and the oral care, probably 70% of our work is with them now at the moment. Um, over the last num six or seven years, we've changed our processes here in, within Carla Toolmaking, and it has made us a lot more efficient, and both Carla Toolmaking and our customers have benefited from that. Service and support that we have received from ETG on the Mitsubishi machines has been second to none. Over the years, we have always gone back to them because of the, they're so easy to contact to help you out, whether it be on a service or on a programming issue or anything like that. Scott and Carlos and them guys, they're all at the end of the phone and they'll get back to you straight away and no money can buy that kind of service. The only, the only downside I have on it is we're one mat short and Scott still owes us a mat. <laughs>